There's where they first encountered the Indians, dead center. Uh, the, the main camp with the chief is about seven miles in the distance, dead center where the camera's pointed. Down in there and along there, there's a huge wash that would have had water in it. Trees, animals. That's why they first encountered them there. The Harquahalas are further over. Now this is right up within where they first saw the Indians. It's right next to the highway. In those trees all along the the wash somewhere in there that's where they were uh, stood on the pile of twigs and and burned with hot sticks this is a major wash where uh, all of what have first encountered the Indians as they approached camp the ripples shows the water gets you know, a couple feet high, but it didn't do it last night or a couple days ago when it rained. But this wash, of course, goes for miles. And after heavy rains, uh, the first Indians she encountered would have been camped all up and down alongside water. Okay, I'm approaching what I would call camp proper, where all of in the, the, the chief's place was, next to the water. Uh, as you see the other videos and pictures, take note of the fact that right here, I'm pointing the camera exactly where they were at. Totally invisible. Totally invisible. You could be standing right here all of in the Indians would have been up there, you would have seen nothing. Um, Indians lived in extended camps uh, miles long. So there was no group of huts right there of 300 Indians all touching elbows. That's not the way they did it. Camera is facing north, northwest. This is the cistern for the cattle. You can see the water was up to the top. But this comes from the cement dam up there, and the cement dam disrupts the flow through the ravine that fills the pools.